what do you expect God to do this spring break trip? God is going to lead a lot of people who are at the end of their road uh, to a new road, His road, His way, because He is the way. I expect God to make His presence strong in their campus. I feel like there's going to be a lot of like freedom from bondage, like um, relationships. I feel like that's been idolized. I'm believing to see 20 people get saved. So today, finally, the spring break trip starts. So my church is sending out three different groups to go to college campuses to spread the gospel to college students. So the first group is going to University of Atlanta, which is in Georgia. The second one's going to be Florida Gulf Coast University. And the one that I'm in is uh, Florida International University in Miami. So the buses to take us to Miami, which is a five hour drive, is supposed to be there at three. Right now it's 255. 256 so i'm gonna be a little late but i i live right next to the, like the parking lot so it's not too bad i have everything packed everything's ready to go hopefully i don't miss anything we got these people Yo, here ready to go yeah. spreading the gospel. <laughs> so we're ready to go guys everything is packed it's a big van we got sleeping bags we got air mattresses huh? we got the whole nine yards and we got the driver <laughs> I'm still alive. We are at racetrack. We just are doing our first stop. We've done like two hours or something. The van is over there just getting off. Everyone looks like they're extremely packed in, but everyone looks good. Who <laughs> can stand the power of our God? Dude, you got me something else also? Dude. You're so generous. Dude, you're so generous. Three hours later. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yo, Bean TV. The whole purpose here is just to see around where we're going to be. Then we'll come back and get our stuff and bring our stuff in. That sound good? Yeah. Uh, so everybody lock up the cars and then we'll walk this way. <laughs> So we finally made it to Miami. This is the room that we're gonna be staying at. So my sleeping bag's right there. Nathan and Zach, I believe, are sleeping there. Dan's gonna sleep there. And we're just gonna make it work. We're guys, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make this fit. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So lights out is gonna be at 10.30. Right now it's 9.30, so we've got an hour to like set up, get everything ready to go, to go to sleep, and move on to the official day of spreading the gospel at FIU. Day two. Today we're actually gonna go to FIU and spread the gospel, expecting people to surrender and give their life to Jesus. Right now it's 8.55, the meeting starts around nine, the team meeting starts around like 9.30. Uh, so I'm gonna show some parts of that. I'm gonna show some parts of On Our Way There. Lunchtime. Right now, I got the Marta because if you're not Puerto Rican, you don't drink Marta. Huh? Ham, egg, and cheese sandwich I got from Cafe Bastelos. I never knew this was a, even a place until I saw it with my own eyes. So, we're gonna eat that, and then after that, we're gonna keep spreading the gospel. And then the testimony is that three people already gave their life to Jesus. Me and my gospel partner led someone to the Lord. I'm uh, sitting in a bench, so then me and Charan just stopped and said, Hey, bro, how's it going? You yeah, had time to answer a couple questions. He said, yeah. So then uh, we asked him, like, oh, like, do you believe you go to heaven? He said, yeah. I was like, from one to 10, 
it's like 80 per, uh, eight out of ten so like 80 percent yes and no 20 percent like yeah so then uh shared with him uh show him the entire gospel so then we just reduce his expectations to like zero percent so he's like oh man I'm like i'm not going to heaven it's like yeah so then um at the end we just uh challenged him, like do you want to make that decision <clears throat> And uh, he said, yeah. So then I asked him, are you sure? Do you want to make that decision? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, like, do you know what that entails? That means you're no longer Lord, but Jesus is in your life. He's like, yeah, like, yeah, I want to do it. And we're like, all right, sweet. So we just prayed the prayer from the 2Q, and he gave his life to the Lord. So, Andres. Angel and um, Christy led someone else, and Ulo and Nat led someone else to the Lord. So the Lord's already moving quick. Three people got saved in two hours, so glory to God, praise God, and let's keep going. Tell me, man, what do you think about the salvation today? Well, you know, sometimes people don't realize that they need to know. <laughs> we just finished gospelizing. Day one is finally complete. Yeah. We're going to go eat dinner at a Latin restaurant. Um, how many people got saved, Nick? What? Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine people got saved today. Praise God. So by the time we're going to get to dinner, I'm going to show you guys the dinner if I remember. Um, and then probably after that, it's going to be good. Some, some type of fellowship and then lights out. <laughs> we finally got our food. Everyone got their food ready to go. Everyone's eating. It's not going to turn out we were doing the same thing today so the update from yesterday is that nine people surrendered their life to christ the goal is 18 people uh giving their life to jesus and we're already halfway there and it's only day one right the last day to spread the gospel and the last day pretty much we're going to be on campus is on thursday so it's, it's already crazy enough that we already got halfway through the goal and we're expecting to see more people get saved today than yesterday <laughs> So guys, we just finished spreading the gospel, we're now reading lunch. So six people have surrendered their life to Christ. Insane. All right, hey, uh, we met with Jalen, and um, we just kind of were talking to him about the gospel, and um, I noticed that he was really, when we asked him, like, how do you get to heaven, he was saying, you know, I read the Bible, I do this, I do that, and it was all works-based. So I just quickly explained to him how it's not works-based, and it's all believing in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection, and that we need to surrender our life completely to him. And after, you know, I mean, it was just a short summary of it. And then after some time speaking to him, he's like, yeah, I'm ready to do that. And I, I want to do that. And so we did. We prayed with him. He surrendered his life. And amen. We're all eating lunch right now. So, Sarah, what are you eating for lunch? I'm eating rice and beans and jerk chicken with barbecue sauce. Nice. All right. And then, Amiri, what are you eating? I'm burger and fries. What is wrong with you? <laughs> right? Give me a yummy rice bowl. <laughs> Day three is officially over with. Right now we're gonna eat a place called Dice. It's, it's a salad bar. I don't eat salads, but I'm gonna try one. Um, <laughs> Nick actually prophesied how many people are gonna get saved when he incorrectly said 11 people yesterday, uh, yesterday instead of nine. And guess what? 11 people got saved today. Oh so praise God, we did it. Um, and let's, I'm gonna show you guys the food when we get there. So. Dinner. Day four. 20 people got saved in total. We surpassed the goal of 18 souls giving their life to Christ in a matter of two days. So we're going right back. We're going right back to campus and we're going to continue preaching the gospel, praying for more people to getting saved and getting strongholds broken today compared to yesterday. Many hours later. So Wednesday is officially complete. Six people has completely given their life to Christ. It's amazing. I know I didn't record too much. I don't want it to be too repetitive. So right now we're gonna eat at a taco place. <laughs> Alright guys, we just finished the final day of evangelism. Nine people have officially given their life to Christ. So that makes it 35 people. Oh my gosh. This so tonight we're having a fellowship event for the church. Uh, so we're gonna we invited a lot of people. We passed out a lot of cards for this event. So we're expecting a lot of people. We're gonna have a lot of games too on those events and like an open discussion. So it's gonna be great. Thank you. 
We're finally back at USF. A five hour drive is done. We were stuck in traffic, whatnot. Um, to summarize everything that happened this past week, more than 65 people have given their life to the Lord across all three campuses at UGA. Uh, Florida Gulf Coast University and FIU so 60 like more than 65 people have surrendered completely their lives to Christ and are being connected to a local church or organization so these people are not going to be lost sheep they're going to be connected and helping grow in their new faith in Christ I just want to thank all the supporters that supported me on this trip and I love you guys all so much thank you guys so much for for this journey and it was a blast spending time with a week and I'll see you around praise God peace